hey, uh, yeah, here's another video. All right, hey, talk about another adventure. Uh, my daughter and I have decided that we want to begin beekeeping. So, over this last winter, we built what's called a top bar hive. And yesterday, we purchased our first nuck of bees. So a nuck will include uh, four or five frames, a queen, and a whole bunch of bees. So we're gonna, today, take the bees from the nuck that I purchased and we're going to introduce them to the hive. They've been sitting for a day now to get acclimated kind of where they're going to live and then today we're going to transfer them and uh, here goes. That's so okay so good first start. Uh, Rudder got stung but he's inside now. I doubt he'll ever come near this again. So here we go. Now remember how you have to tilt it? Yeah. See a queen? That's got brood on it too. Uh, they're working away on it though, isn't that cool? Oh, that one's dead. That's alright, I've seen more than one. I don't see good. anything. Nope. Alright, go ahead. But if there's eggs, then you know the queen's doing something, you know? You said you might have to get the comb off too. Doesn't look like it. Next. Oh, that's so cool they're putting all that nectar inside of there. Oh, there's some. Oh, wait, yeah, there's like yellow. Yeah, that's starting to cap them or whatever. Queen, I think. So this comb that you're looking at, this is from a... What's going on there now? There's like barely in there. I just don't know. I feel like I want to see her, but I don't know how we do. Here. Oh, there she is. Look. See how big? Whoa. I guess she's not marked. See how her wings are really small? Yeah. See, they don't fly very well. How do you find her? Can you see her, though? Yeah. I don't know. It just popped in. I picture her, like, sitting literally, like, on a throne. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, just... Big mama. <laughs> I've been All right. Then we go to... On. Yep. Make I, sure I can see one thing. <coughs> the whole hive. Okay. All right, this is our top bar hive that Taney and I made this last winter. And then we bought bees about a month ago. I think that sounds right. And so we've checked a couple times, but probably shouldn't have. So this is, uh, I've actually let it go for about two weeks. So we're going to see how they're developing and growing. So, come in here a little closer, right here. So, if you look down here, there's one, two, three, four, five um, bars that came with the nuck, which is a nucleus of bees that I got, and the queen. So, I had them all together, and I decided to do what's called checkerboard, so I spaced them out. So, hopefully, they'll build hides on some of the bars that um, I put in between, and the bars I put in between look like this. You can kind of see that there. That's what they uh, build the hives on. And these are all blank ones from. You didn't hold that up very long. I didn't. Mm -hmm. So there's the bar. You can kind of see it. And there's uh, not even near half of this is where we've put the bees and then we put in here what's called a follower bar 
looks like this and this kind of blocks them from trying to build on in an area that we don't want them on yet because they won't build hives accurately if we don't do this so this kind of separates them a little bit I'm gonna leave that out so we're gonna take a look and see how they're building their little civilization right now so we'll start from the inside which these first two bars were blank ones just like the ones I just showed and as you can see let's get a little more smoke in there calm them down as you can see this first one they have started building comb on there you can see them kind of swarming on there they're starting to do their little thing so that's what that looks like when they're taking off doing their thing there's not really much on there one little hive comb that started sorry we'll slide that one back out of the way move guys and then this one as we get closer to the end you'll see that they've kind of built more and when you get in here they're actually stuck together which this one is and the reason they do that is to insulate themselves so they put kind of wax in between Ooh. And they're really good at it, as you can see. All right, so this one's separated. And you can see on this one, it's got a little bit more. This is all brand new also. And there's nothing much on it other than bees on the comb. But if you look right here, how close can you get? Very or no? Yeah, I'm in. Now they're covering it. Never mind, you can't see much. So that's just comb. You can see in there, there's just basically comb with nothing in it. So they're doing their prep work now. All right. And then the next one that you'll see is one that, one of the ones we purchased to get started. And because of that, it already had a full comb from the previous year on it, from the person we bought it from. Mm -hmm. And so the comb's not very pretty, but it's how they start. And you'll see here. Whoa. Let me get some more space in there. Whoa. This is dramatically heavier than when I bought it. It's the craziest thing. I did not know I was gonna experience that. But if you look here, inside of the combs kind of you can see it's liquidy that's not actually honey that's nectar that they put in there to feed off of and when i bought this they were all empty and this weighed about a half a pound and now this weighs about three pounds that's how much they put in there and as we move back we'll start to see this is one that was completely blank that we put in So there was nothing on it, just a piece of wood. And that's what it looks like now. If you look right here, let's see if I can hold this. See this white area right there? That is honey. So they've started to store honey in there. And then they'll, this one will probably eventually be all honey so they can feed throughout the winter. And then let me get one more of the ones that we put in just so you can see it. And I'd like to show one that has eggs on it too. Let's see if this one does. So heavy, that's crazy. Same thing here, up at the top. This area, that's honey, and then this will eventually be honey. The water liquid you can see in there, they actually dry it out slightly, turns it into honey. All right, the next one, hopefully we'll see eggs. Oh, 
Oh, whoa, look at this. Zoom in here, I accidentally hit this. Can you see this? Mm-hmm. That's honey. It's honey. That wasn't in there. That's amazing. Sorry I used some of your honey, guys. All right, here comes the next one. All right, this is one of the blank ones that we put in. And this one also has honey on it. It's kind of starting to build up quite a bit of honey along the bottom. And the way, it, the reason it looks white is they fill it with the nectar and when it dries out to the perfect spot, when it dries out to the perfect <laughs> level, they cap it and they put a cap over it and that's how they store their honey. Okay. My photographer just freaked out. Good job, Darla. So you get stung? Uh -uh. Uh oh. I don't think I'm gonna do all these, but I wanna show what the eggs look like. Nothing but honey. Eventually. Oh, the next one has a bunch. This was a completely empty bar also that they built. And you can see here, this comb, if you look at it from the edge, you can see all the honey built up inside of there. So that's what that one is. More, oh, I found the queen. I think that may be a drone. This may be her right here, gone. Anyway, the queen's in there, I think. There she is. I think. Oh, and if you look like here, those are egg cells. There may be something in there. But that's where the babies will go. I'm gonna jump clear down to the end, so hopefully we can see some eggs to show you what those cells look like. see any this is a bar we put in also this had nothing in it honey everywhere whoa falling all over that bee All right, if you can see, see the ones that have like yellow, the ones that have yellow inside of it, that is pollen that they're putting in there and that will eventually become honey too. You can see honey all over this that's kind of dripping everywhere. Anyway, that's it. That's what's developed since we got them. Oops, sorry. All right, more to come later.